a very good evening guys dinesh here welcome back once again uh, with some of the important question for the chapter number 3 let's discuss the important question about the chapter number 3 of your physics paper 1 that's oscillation guys the first question which has been asked is about the moment of inertia define moment of inertia please do that question which is again coming down for the two marks which is i is equal to mr cos square dimension also required in this Again, guys, the second question which is coming down for the kinetic energy of the body is rolling. What's the kinetic energy over that? Again, guys, derivation is not required according to the board point of view. I just need to remember the questions. Ah, uh, formula. The question formula is kinetic energy is equal to half i omega square, right? As soon as I need to remember kinetic energy is directly proportional to your square of the frequency. So this two formula, guys, again I should remember because that will be applied on your numerical part. The next question come down to be which is very important question guys which is coming down to be the radius of the gyration question has been asked like this what is radius of gyration and give its as physical significance so i should write down the definition of your radius of gyration as soon as i should write down the two three significances depending on your marks of the question so please do this question as well now guys the question come down to be the torque right torque a question that's your tau ka value tau is equal to i alpha Numerical base question is that the mostly the numerical asks on this question uh, in 2015 and the 16 question has been asked on this question as well as the latest if you observe the paper which is 2017 guys they also given a derivation about it so please do this derivation point of view as well as the numerical point of view the derivation of tau is equal to i alpha the next question coming down to be guys i need to find out um, rolling body if the body is rolling what's the total kinetic energy over it. So formula over it, I need to take a total kinetic energy. That's translation motion plus linear motion. So the formula over is half m v square bracket can the one plus k square by r square. This is also a important question for the derivation, which is coming down for the two marks. So please do do these questions again. Guys, in this work, uh, if you observe the question, right? The formula is half m v square plus k square plus r square. I should remember the k square by r square. That's a ratio of radius of gyration for the different different bodies. There are three bodies. First is called as a ring. For the ring, k square by r square is your one. For the solid cylinder, k square by r square is one by two. For the solid sphere, the k square by r is two by five. So I should remember. If you observe the paper, latest paper, they have been given a question. Uh, find out the total kinetic energy of mass this much, velocity this much of a solid sphere. So mass is given, velocity is given. I need to find out the Total kinetic energy, right? So formula, you know it. That is half m v square one plus k square by r square. Half m given v given k square by r square of a solid sphere is nothing but guys, it's coming down to be two by five. So put all the value kinetic energy you got in. Again, guys, three marks in your pocket. So please secure your three marks, which is very important for you. Coming down to be guys, the filling the blanks question, which is the latest came filling the blanks question. That is the acceleration ka formula. What is the acceleration? Right, the formula is a is equal to g sine theta divided by one plus k square by r square. Again, guys, this is also filling the blanks question being given latest 2017. They ask you the find the acceleration of a particle which is revolving. So the formula is g sine theta denominator one plus k square by r square. Please do this. Yes, coming back to the very important our famous question of the rotation motion chapter. That is nothing but guys, you also know it. That is a uh, parallax theorem. Please do this question. Definite question from my side, guys. Coming down to the next question, um, you there are the different bodies is there, right? So I have been given rod has been given, ring has been given, right? In this there are different different axes there. So in this I should if a body if I'm considering as a rod, right? Over the center of inertia is m l square by twelve. I can find out the side axis by using a parallax theorem, right? Again, guys, that is a disc, which is the center is half m r square. I can find out the side axis again by parallax theorem. So all the things, just remember the center inertia of a different different body. You can calculate the side inertia by having the formula of a parallax theorem, right? That is I O is equal to I C plus m h square. So just remember, don't do the derivation. You should remember the formula of your Different different body from the center, from the side, from the tangent, parallel, from the tangent, perpendicular. Please do this question as well. The question majorly, if you look at your uh, this type of a question, like uh, I need to calculate the moment of inertia of a about the axis perpendicular to the length. This is of a cylinder I'm talking about. Calculate the moment of inertia perpendicular to the length. This is the question being asked. Of course, the formula you should remember that is m is equal to bracket can the r square by four plus l square by twelve. Guys, please do this question. Angular momentum, no question, guys. Again, uh, 
not majorly please remember that is the formula that is l is equal to i omega please remember this formula again guys coming down to the very important question that is your law of conservation please do this question here i need to prove the law of conservation that's your dl by dt is nothing but your tau if the moment of inertia the rate of change of angular momentum with respect to time is nothing but tau i need to prove it so please do this question again as well that's it guys to uh, end for this video please do this such a important question talking about the numerical part which i have been given please do the question like uh, parallaxes uh, body different different body from the different different body i need to find out the inertia please do such type of a question the question numerical as on this question also see you guys see you in the next week i am going to soon update about the next lecture uh, next important questions which has been on the next chapter which is oscillation so stay tuned